Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to look at actually variables. And that pertains to the integers and the floats and that kind of stuff that we were looking at just a little bit and touching on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave the code that we've got uh, in here for right now. And we're just going to go right up here so that we can make some global variables as it's actually local to the uh, class here, the class project, due to the fact that it's in between these two brackets. You can see by highlighting that one, it highlights that one. So uh, a global variable would be in here. So we could just say int integer. There we go. So we've got an integer named integer. I know that will be confusing, but we're going to leave that there right now. And in here, in the constructor, what we can do is we can make another integer, and we can call it integer2. Okay? And so we can only use integer2 in between those two braces. Uh, we cannot reference it out here. So let's just say you wanted to have something that was global, you would put it out here, similar to how the pilot and the random function are. And if you wanted something inside and local to this, you would put it in there. And so there's a number of different types of variables. Uh, there's, uh, let's see here, we got float, we can make that a floating point as its name, and we've also got uh, the boolean, and we can just call that Woo! Boolean value. So all of those are different types, where the integer is just the straight up number with no decimal. We can just assign that to 1. The floating point, we can assign that as 2.5, as it's a floating point, and make sure to include the f there. And with the Boolean, we can just set that to true or false. So those are some examples of the primitives. Uh, these are not primitives because they are actually specific classes. So you just like these with the local and the global variables, those apply here as well. Anyway, that's a brief rundown on some values and how the global and the local variables go. And I'll see you next time. Bye!